Northern Territory's Infrastructure Minister has refused to say if people living in defective houses built under a government scheme are safe. At least eight of the homes are still occupied two years after a government commission report found they should be demolished without undue delay. It's six years since Sky News first revealed the issues facing owners of these Darwin homes. Especially the windy time, windy area, the whole house is shaking badly. In 2021, 10 of the 18 homes were bulldozed after a government report found they were unsafe and should be demolished without delay. But eight remained standing, leaving their owners living in what some have described as a ticking time bomb. These properties are dangerous. They present a safety risk of serious harm to occupants and surrounding neighbouring properties and residents. Local MP Mark Turner has taken up their case. He has referred the matter to police and the Anti-Corruption Commission, telling Parliament he believes the government is putting lives at risk by failing to act. The occupants need to be moved out and these houses must be demolished without delay. This is the only feasible risk management strategy. The ten houses that were demolished fall under a government scheme that saw the owners compensated or their houses rebuilt. But the other eight, built a year later, fall under a different scheme, leaving their owners to fight the matter in court. I understand people's frustration with those Bellamac homes, but there is a process that has to work through. A report obtained by Sky News last year shows the residents are at serious risk during weather events, including a thunderstorm downburst. What happens if there is a thunderstorm and someone gets seriously injured or killed? As I said, there are probably lots of homes in the Northern Territory that were built uh, prior to Cyclone Tracy. There are lots of homes that may not be up to Cyclone Code as well. Mark Turner says the government's building controller has the power to deem the buildings unsafe and force their demolition. If the corrosion continues, the buildings will become more severely dilapidated. Remember, these houses are sitting here further corroding whilst we speak. The minister refused to say if the homes were safe. Are you comfortable that it's safe for people to live in those homes at the moment? I, as I said, we will continue to work through the right processes that need to be followed under legislation. No, but are you comfortable that those people are safe? We will work through those processes with those homes. So you can't say that they're safe? We'll work through those processes. Matt Cunningham, Sky News, Darwin.